The building of SimCity continues. Today, in the building of SimCity, we recruit our king. Where are you? Where are you, my leash? Not in here. Oh, oh! Stop right there, criminal scum! You violated the law. You need to join me. He survives. He survives! Join me. Join me in our immortal quest. How? How do I know your name? I must be- No, you are the genius beep. I don't understand why they wrote these dialogue options. Ear? Are you taking the piss? I- I hope he- I'm pretty sure none of the dialogue options will prevent him from- And he doesn't know what money means, and he is with us! Hooray! Okay, we have the king, baby. Ah, so quaintly, he stares off into the distance. I don't know why he does that. But Beep actually starts out fairly weak. He's, uh, he's pretty much like all of our other Hivers. Uh, he starts out with zero stats and everything, so we're going to need to cut off all of his limbs and replace them with robot limbs eventually. I mean, if things go according to plan. Either that or just force him to work forever. So this may seem a little bit out of the ordinary, but I'm actually going to have Patch pick up Beep and then <laughs> run back with beep in my hands. I think we'll be at a slightly faster speed than if we just run- I mean, well, right now we're running at 14, 14 miles per hour, but if I put down beep, how fast do they run together? Oh, actually, they're running at 18 miles per hour. Okay, you know what? Um, let's have them run some laps before they run through the fog territory. All right, we just- <laughs> We need to work out Beep a little bit before he, uh, gets himself killed. Why are their names not displaying over there? So, I don't know how this makes sense, but Patch runs at 25 miles per hour on his own. He runs only at 14 miles per hour with Beep in his arm. But then Beep runs at a meager 14 miles per hour. So we need to train Beep to be at more miles per hour. More. Definitely more. Before they can run back to the village, and I trust them. So we'll just have them run around Mongrel at random for a little while. So they'll work out like One Punch Man for a few weeks here. We'll just order them to run back and forth a lot. Pretty much forever. And in the meantime, I have some dumbass ideas to do with our base. Oh, also, before I go any further, thank you guys so much for telling me to use the population, the bigger population mod, as it's made the recruitment of more people up to 256 even more simple. I thought since people died, I wouldn't be able to do that, but I get I don't know, there's some... Some bullshit gets in the way. But I have more bullshit ideas. And thanks to Matt for hinting me to this. Apparently our base was built directly over a Garu migration network. And there's a whole road here to show this. I'm trying to erase my selection, but for some reason that doesn't work. And we might just be stuck with these roads. But I can at least see where they are. Kind of interesting to use the debug menus. I never really touched them until you guys suggested to go through them. But I needed to use them to get rid of the shit in this town. And now we can actually do stuff in this town. Okay, now it's time for a new important and dumb idea. I want to surround the spiders with training dummies. They can't ever touch me, ever. Because they're much too large to get through the training dummies, you see. So if I position them close enough to each other, which normally you wouldn't be able to do, but I think this is just dumb enough to be fun. I'm going to surround them with a bunch of training dummies so that they can't ever see me, so that I can actually see what's inside of the ruins. In this fashion, I will break the game. Alright everyone, build these dummies around. Good. Good. Work. Work. My minions. My minions! And once they finish this, we can open the door and then see how many spiders are in there. And since they aren't, uh, ranged, we could just shoot them with crossbows uh, once we get crossbows. Or maybe we could even just build a wall right in front of it and then position crossbows on top of the wall and then shoot them with unlimited crossbow bolts from the wall until they eventually submit. You see, it's the Soviet, um, motto. You can just build your way out of everything. Well, it combines Soviet ideals with spam, which is... Really, the- the name of my- that's pretty much the premise of my channel. Go, my minions, go! Oh, so nice to watch them work. A lot of you had also mentioned that we want to keep out wild animals, so we're going to turn on shoot first, ask questions later. Your turret gunners will shoot at potentially dangerous, but not, uh, but neutral targets such as wild animals or bandits without waiting for them to attack at the base first. Because all of the wild animals have fucked me for the last few days, so I'm going to fuck them. I won't fuck an- I- that- I, well, that sounded wrong. I'm- 
Of course I'm kidding. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll just leave that there. Okay, so I am fencing in the spiders. I'm going to use the chute first. I'm going to build an absurd number of buildings and then trap the spiders in here. So let's build a wall right next to it. Hey, let's build another wall in front of our other problem. Remember, if anything's a problem in your life, you just build a wall around it. Works every time. Fall back behind the wall! And don't forget, we're gonna need a ramp up to those walls. You know, we'll put, we'll put two ramps up to just make it extra convenient for ourselves. And obviously, we'll need cross to fire at the spiders. Uh, I love destroying ancient machinery. How did you- you walked up an invisible blueprint! We, oh, stop building the ramp, everyone. We don't even need to build a ramp. I guess you don't need to even fully build a ramp. You can just put down the materials, and then that's enough. People just go, eh, it's done. Now, who's fast enough to open the door? Oh shit, even Jumper isn't able to- get He's not able to get out. Well, if it's hard for our people to get out, it's definitely gonna be hard for the, uh, spiders to get through there. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> it looks like something really fucked up out of, like, a- I don't know, Mad Max. It- this looks like a scene from Mad Max. One crossbow, and two, and three, and I guess that means four or five- yeah, four and five are just about done. Now we need six people, one for each crossbow, and one who has a lot of balls to open the door, and I think there's gonna be a spider positioned Right at the door. And worse ca- Oh, stop this sort of behavior. This is inappropriate. Not on my watch. You violated the law. I still don't feel completely safe. Okay, I'm almost there. I'm almost safe. Good, good. Alright, this is the right idea. Let's just keep doing this. More of this, yes. Alright, I feel- I think- I think I'm gonna feel safe with this plan. Just keep building walls around your problems until you're safe. Let's also run back Beep and, uh, Patch to our city. Okay, Barth, you stay inside. You're gonna be the one who does the, the dreaded deed. You're gonna open up the door. I'm gonna take away all your other jobs, because after this, you won't ever- You're gonna get to retire after this, buddy. You won't, uh- I mean, if you survive, if you should survive opening the door. Which, God bless you, that's a- that's a brave task indeed. And we'll just assign other, mm, people to the turrets. Okay, now then, let the celebrations begin. Uh, alright, good luck to you! Um, wouldn't wanna be, uh, trying to think, will they be able to- I'm pretty sure that this is, like, spider tight. They are- they are completely walled in. Okay, let's open the door. Okay, you need to survive. How many are there? No, none yet. And- oh, at least two, three, four- oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, leave, leave. Leave to fight another day. Leave to fight another day. Leave- oh, he's gonna get to retire! Okay, great. Great. And only one- only one is outdoors. What is its head? Whatever is its head just- you missed. It's a stationary target. But I mean, at least the crossbow bolts are doing something to their robot armor. And maybe we could stand in front of the door and wave around our arms for the other ones. We just need to lure the rest of- good. It's rebooting now, though. We just need to attract that other one out here. Come on. Put on your girl robot costume to lure them out. Here we go, here we go. Come on, just- Okay, just run over there and run back, run back. Fast. They aren't falling for it, we need to go- Ooh, go back, go back. Might need to stand in- Ooh, fuck, fuck, ooh, fuck. Ooh, get out. Oh, shit, that's a lot of them. Okay, we got three, they're just standing there, though. They're like- like cats poised to the attack. And it looks like- Ooh, shit. No, don't do that. Don't do that, Barth. No, you might not make it out if you fight. Okay, we'll put him on passive. Just don't do- Anything. I think we could just speed up time while the- Oh sh- No, don't go- Don't go back in there, baby! Don't go back in there. Okay. So far, so good. Okay, they're all staring at Barth, though. To move her- Oh shit. No, 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 don't. <laughs> don't- Don't- Don't attack Barth. Now, what if they get out? What the hell are we gonna do then? What the hell? Okay, let's just let them- Oh no, baby, no. Don't go back there. I don't know what you're trying to do. Okay, some more movement on them. I'm hoping they can't, like, shimmy- can they shimmy around? Oh, sh no, don't do that, baby. Okay, it looks like Patch and Beep are being chased by Fogman, but they did escape the Foglands, so... I mean, that was really the area I was worried about them not getting away from, so... I mean, more hopefully than not, they'll es I mean, Beep's running only 18 miles an hour, but he's probably running faster as we speak because he's training his athletics as he's running away. The ultimate form of self-improvement. Yeah, look at that, he's already running at 19 miles an hour, so he's speeding up as he runs away from the Fogmen. And he has pants! Glorious pants! Okay, I just had to reassign a few workers. Honestly, these farms are just attracting more river raptors. I don't know how they're getting in here, I still think my base isn't, like, 
I think the meshes keep fucking up, and there's just so many walls, I can't even check which one it is. I built two- I built two lines of walls to keep out the animals. But for Christ's sake, we'll just reassign new people to the turrets. Alright, get back in there, everybody. Come on, you know the drill. There we go. Okay, Barth, just a few more runs in to your doom. Oh shit, that one was alive! Okay, <laughs> okay. I know you're probably very uncomfortable with this job, but we just need to use you to lure them out again. Good, run, run away. And let the crossbowmen he do this. Okay, good, we could just take out the- No, don't, don't try to be a hero. Don't try to be a hero. I sent you to passive for a reason. Okay, that- Wow, uh, oh, shit, they can actually- Oh, shit, you might want to walk a little further away. They, <laughs> they reboot, they like ragdoll it, and then they reboot when they're on top of that thing. They might just make their way over the wall if there's enough of them and they- They have like enough corpses to- I don't know how, but somehow- how did they get over here? There might be something fucked up with one of these walls over here. I'm thinking that's what's going on. Yeah, there's gotta be a mesh error because there's like, what the hell are they? There's river raptors walking in here. There's no- How did they even get through? How did they even get through? Okay, there's some- some sort of mesh black magic going on here. I'm not a big fan of it, but in the other part of the world, Beep and Patch seem to- I mean, they made it to the shrieking, hash slinging slasher back here. Uh, so they made it away from the Fogman, and these people are significantly slower because they're all malnourished at only 17 miles, or what are they? 17 miles an hour, so... We should be able to outrun them, and Beep is now Athletics 10, so he's running even faster than he was before, so he's accelerating as he runs away. That's perfect progress. In the meantime... <laughs> <laughs> I love to kill robots. All right, Barth, buddy, you're gonna have to go in there <laughs> a few more times. How many is he? The kill count is rising on these things. How many are there in there? Wait, let's just count them up. One, two, three, four. There's still four left on this floor. That's a lot. Four is many. But fortunately, we can now see all of them that are in there before they murder us. Or potentially murder Barth. Really, Barth is the only one we have to- You go- go way back in there. Just in case. Okay, they'll take out the shooting. I feel like they're facing a deep depress- like a saving private Ryan moment. Like, they realize that their species can't continue because they can't move past simple obstacles. And that's smashing! That's just smashing! It's also rebooting them. Like, you have an advanced cybernetic computer core, but you can't move over something. Like, that's- that's basically what's going on with modern AI right now. It's like, they can do 72,000 calculations in the blink of an eye, but they can't know how to move past the couch when there's a, you know, a Roomba going through your room. This very advanced civilization of Roombas here we're dealing with. Looks like Beep and Patch are almost back to our base, so we can get ready to welcome our king. Maybe we can even give him a spider corpse to ride around on. Or we can give him spider legs, so we make him mecha spider beep. I don't know, they all sound equally dumb and entertaining. Okay, Barth, time to potentially die again, or earn your retirement. Alright, just go- go past all of the ro murderous robot corpses. Um, oh! Okay, I don't know how we're gonna get to this guy. He's kinda trapped in there, but the other two are kinda out in the open. Hopefully they'll- good, they're coming through. Good, good. This makes it one- we've killed six and there's one at- okay, so this will be the seventh. Ah, and Beep and Patch are almost back, too. Such a majestic creature. Shoot it in the face! Okay, Barth can go back. Barth, you have only two- two or three more to- no, don't be in the ground. Okay, only two or three more of those things to lure out before you can retire or die. Okay, in this one- <gasps> oh shit, it- see it- like it ragdolled its way out of this. I was a little worried for Barth on this, but it's not crippled. This might kill Barth. No, Barth can just keep running away because he's fast. Ooh, Beep is running underneath the Leviathan's foot. Actually, two Leviathans, three Leviathans that look like one. Look, one's giving another one a piggyback ride. You know, you never look up in Kenshi, but there's really a whole, really a whole sky. There's a n massive ball in the- there are two balls in the sky. <laughs> balls in the sky! And the left one is bigger! <laughs> Alright, I, I await this reboot with great anticipation. Let's see what happens. It's critical and it's dying. Okay, so we- we're safe. Barth, you can come out of cowering now. Alright, and let's- that might actually be the last of them. And the, there's at least one more. Um, that one's- actually, this one is trapped behind something. How are we gonna- what are we gonna do? 
with this one. And there's also some good shit in here, too. Well, that's a damn shame. I mean, we'll need to take it out with ranged attacks, but we can't ever really even access that area. Unless if we build a wall in here right next to it. But that seems a little out of the question, so. Okay, general storage boxes. We have a cats. Uh, we'll take the cats. We got one cat. We got some chain mail. Some rum? Everything else seems to be empty, pretty much. Armor plate storage. I mean, there's probably more stuff in here. Ancient weapon cabinets? Come on, that- No, nothing again. Oh, this is turning out to be ass. Okay, let's check upstairs. Um, you can go upstairs. And it turns out there is one more ancient spider upstairs, so we will run. Run away. Run away. Good, good. Run away. And let's see where it is. Oh, it's right in front of me. Okay, we're going to need to walk away again. Walk out, walk out. Good. And this is the last spider before you- you have earned it. Fuck, I would be a real bummer if he died to this one. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, walk toward- no, that's the wrong way. Okay, that's a little menacing. Okay, and come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's tango, let's tango. Good, good, good. Oh, our savior has arrived. Okay, we have not yet killed all the spiders, but nonetheless, nonetheless, time for sacrifice. Sacrifice of uh, something. We need to sacrifice something. Let's close the other gate. Beep has arrived. Okay, we will celebrate Beep's arrival in just a moment. And we're gonna kill the last one. It's critical, and it's just about dead. Okay, Barth, get back in there. Can we somehow shyster this one out of here? No, that's a real bummer. I mean, I guess we're gonna have to think of some way to- Oh, good, there it goes! Yes, 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 yes! Come on, come on, go, 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 baby, go! Go! Yes! Yes! It's safe in there now! We shystered it out! We shystered it out! It's bleeding, it's like my kind. I am the last of my kind. It'll be weird to be the last person on Earth. Okay, time for less existential questioning. Shoot it in the face, it's evil! Oh, I forgot- I forgot that we could just remove some of its robotic components every- if we wanna- That was pretty dumb, but you know what, we're- we're done. They're all dead. All of the skeletons are now subdued. And it looks like that this ancient ruin is completely safe to explore. Let's just go upstairs once more. Yeah, this place is completely safe. Okay, we can now use this as some sort of commanding balcony. Oh, and there are chew sticks here. Exactly what I needed. There doesn't seem to be that much in the ruins themselves, but we could use this main area as some sort of... Uh, like, base of operations. There's a few other books and other shit in here. It doesn't look like there's anything in these storage boxes, but I... I don't know, I'm... I'm honestly disappointed. I thought there would be more stuff in here. There's a safe here. Maybe we'll find something in there, but there's nothing else in anything. We have locks we could pick, but... Oh, finally! Okay, a spiked club. Beep can wield that. Wow, that's it. That's kind of a bummer. We went through all that shit for nothing? Um... Oh no, there's a plank. This looks particularly powerful. This is a heavy weapon. Okay, Beep can wield this. All right, Beep, we can debuild the wall. I wonder what happens when you debuild a wall with someone on it. You cannot delete- Oh, there's somebody on- Oh wait, no, it's the mounted buildings. Then let's just dismantle the crossbow. What happens when we dismantle something with someone on it? Ooh, ooh, Inception. Praise Jesus, the- Battle is won. And now, it's like Aragorn wielding a seal door, you know? The blade of Elendil. The blade of Isildur. And now Beep has a heavy weapon. <laughs> he has a heavy weapon. Yay! And you know what, Barth, since you went in here, you can get the, uh, you can get the spiked club. I think you deserve it now. Okay, so Barth gets the- can you at least wield it? Great! Okay, so Barth has a weapon, Beep has a weapon. Somehow I'm happy with this. We have- we are armed, and we have a couple more, like, electrical components. There's probably other stuff in here, though. It'll take us some time, but we'll figure it out. Let's see, this one had- oh shit, this one had a topper in it. There is some- there are some really good ancient books and items in here. Okay, since Beep is now the protagonist, I guess he's just gonna carry everything. Beep will do all of the work. And there's probably a decent number of blades in those chests. Let's just order these people to continuously pick locks forever. Alright, gentlemen, meet your king. He is the only one with a blade. And a heavy blade at that. Now, Beep needs to train in a lot of shit, because he's gonna- Clearly, he should be the only one to lead everyone. He's the only one recognizable enough. He completely stands out from the pack. Well, that's not- entirely false. He does have on, uh, you know, peasants- or peasants or hungry bandits rags, whereas everybody else just has a pair of pants. My first decree as king is that Beep must train. He must train to be the most powerful so he gets his own training dummy. And I think that's a decent place to start, so he's eventually going to become a heavy weapons master. Let's also undertake the building of a massive city. For no reason. I just want it. I desire industry. Perfection. 
Oh, this is gonna take them forever. How will I ever be able to find anything? I don't honestly know. I'm, it's just gonna take them a while to do this, and I need work for them to do. Because everyone must work. Work. In the meantime, I'm retraining Red Squadron. I do want them to actually now become military in their in their nature, in the nature of what they do. They should be finding and uh, rescuing people, and they should also be training themselves, because these are gonna be our combatants. Our next task is just going to be to raise a massive army. These will be our fighters. Like our soldier ants who fight alongside Garu Buddy. Garu Buddy and Beep. Now I feel I feel as though that since we have one individual leading them, there can be some purpose. It's like, you know, like the snake has a head now. Or actually a snake is sort of a terrifying animal. Um the dragon? The dragon? Yeah, sure, the dragon has a head now. But life is full of purpose and all of the city blueprints are slowly coming to realization. Well, now that we killed the spiders, we can also dismantle this inner wall. We can use the building materials on our construction projects. It served its purpose in its time. Weird, one of the walls is just like, no, I will not be deconstructed. I, I will have none of that. So I guess we won't deconstruct that wall. We can also dismantle this one because it's quite random here. Now that we've uh, upgraded the size of our base. It's a skateboarding ramp. Not for long. Ah uh, yes, life is full of purpose now that we all have work. Work. Okay, despite all of the goodwill in the air, we are starting to come to a new problem. Uh, people are starting to get a little bit hungry. Um, they were at like 300 at the beginning. I lowered the hunger rate so that we would have some more time to prepare for this and because of the bullshit river raptor invasions. But we may actually have to get started on some farms now, so. Um, there's still a shitload of green fruit in the fields. I deleted a lot of farms as we went through, but I think for right now, I'm going to make it a less accessible farm area so that even if river raptors get in, we have some way of, like, trapping them while they're in here. Let's just start off with a few preliminary farms to begin with again. Maybe we can fix the meshes because I think our walls are secure. I don't see why that would be happening. And fuck it, I don't care. I haven't cared for years. Okay, great, our engineers are all running. And I hadn't thought of this, but you know, like, if you build enough base, like, your engineers are gonna be good enough that- Look, ooh, more books. I think every single time that I re-import the save or something like that, the books respawn. I'm probably getting more extra resources, but I mean, we're just pretty much onto the building now anyway, so who gives a shit? Oh, and I didn't realize, but we have these melee ugh, martial arts training dummies done as well. We can train on those next. Somehow I feel a sense of completion. Now that Beep is training his melee attack, it's like civilization can go on and it really matters. It's really worth something. He may have to train next... Everyone may be naked, but I mean, but we have beep, so it's okay. All right, I'm sending out Garu Buddy on another supply run. We gotta start getting to work on some more important stuff that we need. Uh, specifically, we need cotton. Because if we don't get cotton, we're gonna die of wounds. Dying of wounds is not what I want. Not what I want at all. So apparently building materials are just aren't that heavy. So we can load them up with them because I know they're fairly valuable. Like considering how easily you can make them. Uh, and we'll give him all that shit. And then since he and Patch did such a great job last time, and we'll take Patch off of his, uh, of his jobs, and we'll send him and Garu Buddy out to a town. Now, we're gonna need cotton this time, and more ancient books if we can possibly find them, because they, they just didn't get enough last time. Go! Fly, you fool! Fly, you fools! Flee for your lives! And we'll just open- I love this. It, it feels like we're going out into space. You know the way that they open and close airlocks when people go to space? That's what it feels- it feels like we're in space! And if we just have the match speeds, now I'm gonna head over to the United Cities. I- <laughs> It sounded like I said United Titties. The United Titties. We're gonna go to the United Titties, um, and trade there, cause Mongrel doesn't have what we need. Um, in the United Cities, although they're evil, they're more organized. So we'll go there and that'll be fine. Fly, you fools! Just a side note, I really do love the Garu animation. Like, it's legs, and I think that's its tail. I'm gonna assume that's its tail and not its weenus. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, cannibals. Ha, ah, we can outrun you. Bye. All right, uh, we're safe. We can go to the United Cities. We can drop off these building materials, get cotton, and all the other good stuff we need. And my god, these guys can run pretty fast now. Oh yeah, this is the... This is the, uh, Outlaws section. I remember this. Now, a lot of people got mad at me in the out- in the, uh, One Punch Man series when I went to the Outlaws. I just- I got a bone to pick. The Outlaws pick on innocent people, too. I mean, yes, they're fighting the, the United Cities, um, but the United Cities is just evil. Like, they're pure evil. Because they thrive in the bi- like, evil for the sake of some sort of ideal. I feel like it's- it's not as bad as evil 
for the sake of some business, you know? Like, the business evil. Fucking hate business. And I hate the man, you know? Down with the man. I'm like the Timothy Leary of YouTuber. Well, that's actually, that's completely false. There are, there are other people who fit that bill way better than me. But, fuck it. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm in this game for, baby. Alright, several cannibal villages. I'm not sure what that even is. W what is- is that cannibals? Who- who lives there? Um, these people look- Yeah, this is an outlaw city. Uh, I don't really see anything good here, though, so we're just gonna pass this one by. We're fast enough that we could pretty much outrun anybody, and I'm not particularly worried about this. Ah, uh, here we are in Bast. Bast, my favorite place. And we're being chased by uh, a group of holy na- is that holy nation people? Holy nation people don't really- I don't think they get angry at hivers just for being hi- Like, they get angry at robots just for being robot. But I think they're okay with hivers because they're not- I mean, like, you know, you could be missing a limb, but if you didn't replace it, they're okay with that. Yeah, they're pretty- they're strange. I don't- I don't really understand their philosophy. All right, well, here we are in the desert. At least, uh, Garu, but he doesn't have any- S like minor obstacles he gets stuck on. I hope that they'll accept Patch because he's naked when he walks into a city, but he doesn't have any genitals. Like, how does he reproduce? I mean, I guess the queen reproduces for him, but how does the queen get sperms? Eh, whatever. Oh, damn. Holy Nation marching in really perfect file. Ah, that brings back good memories of of good lovin' I did to that, uh, Inquisitor. All the good lovin' he got. He got some good lovin' over and over again. Alright, well, here we are in the desert again, one of the most majestic places to pass through. Majestic as shit. And what what do you want from us? Sand ninjas. Alright, let's check on Patch and Garu, buddy. We need them to get the cotton so that we can actually heal up after battle. If we could heal up from battles, we could start training our military and then we could get stronger. So we need them to get the cotton in the United Cities. Ah, uh, over the majestic salt and through this scary shit. We should arrive at heft in a few seconds. And there we can sell our building materials and trade them for cotton. Assuming there is any cotton here. Oh, there's heft. It, it appears in the distance. Ooh, sk <laughs> I remember the skimmers. I love skimmers, they're my favorite animal in the Kenshi universe. And we've arrived, we've arrived! Huzzah, huzzah, smashing! And they go on through, go on through. They're just totally okay with this, that's great. And I need cotton to the exchange! Okay, Patch is just gonna need to trade for a shitload of building materials with Garu. Garu, buddy. No, you can't move very far. Oh, well, this is gonna be a lot of trips, but I'll do it. And he does have the cotton that we require. So we'll just keep on trading back and forth between Garu, buddy, and the trader. And we'll buy rice weed and other stuff we might need, too. I think I'm just gonna buy up all of this guy's cotton, because, uh, we want to get as many cotton farms going as we can when we get back, and... The fa- the more cotton we have, the faster we can start. It's gonna buy him out. Driving up the price of cotton and- It just goes to show that having a large settlement, you can easily raise money by selling supplies as long as you have a pack animal or a lot of people who are fast and strong with backpacks to go around. I'm also going to buy a lot of wheat straw, or at least as much as it is convenient to carry. Oh, no, uh... Shit. River raptors have yet again invaded our compound. This is really puzzling. I, they're definitely getting through a mesh somewhere. It's like, I've tried the mesh rendering fixing, but somehow they're just still here. So we need to destroy our farms yet again. That's pretty depressing, but... I mean, I gotta go with it. We're still just not strong enough to, to fight these guys. We could... You know what we could do is just build, like, a wall. I think I'll try to do this one more time and we'll just build a wall with a bunch of crossbows over the farms. I think that would probably be the safest way to go about this. Because otherwise, we're just getting bullied by wild animals. Good, go away. Go away forever. I don't like them. We still have enough green fruit to feed a nation. Oh no, Beep's arm. But at the same time, it's healed. It's healed. It's fine. Alright, we've just about finished trading with this trader, and we can load up Garu, buddy, and be on our way back. Alright, we've actually made it to nightfall, and everything's closed, so I, th I think now we'll be on our way. We're getting extremely hungry. Uh, we should get a meal soon. And we should get the hell out of here. Actually, just gonna have Pat stop off and buy some food before we go. Alright, we can send them back and we can now finish off research on, uh, more plants. We can get a decent few farms up. We can get medical supplies. We're in better shape than we were before. Um, I mean, we'll probably have to do a couple more trips, but we have one runner. We have Patch, whose athletic skill is now at 62, uh, which is getting quite high. He's terrible at everything, but, you know, nonetheless, we're all terrible at everything, and we're just gonna have to be terrible at everything together for a while. We'll do it with solidarity. Now back at the compound, I'm going to use Beep's ruined 
to arm, and his raised toughness to hopefully do better battle in the future. Um, uh, we can start to battle soon. Once we get farms up and running, we'll automate our food, we'll automate our, you know, medicine, and that'll be much more good for us. I think, uh, I think that's enough for one day, though. That's quite a lot. We built a crap load more houses in which I have no idea what I'll put. We found blades, ancient blades among the spider ruins, and now they're, they're all just a pile of electrical components. Uh, so we have that to explore. And we have Beep, our king. So the construction of SimCity continues next time. Thanks for watching. As always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.